Right, question is, is my repair strong enough? This is a piece of plywood, scrap plywood, and it's glued to the plastic using two-part epoxy. Same on this side. So, I guess the obvious thing to do is try it. So, at the moment, it's surviving. We'll put it on the floor. Got the onboard camera. So, flip that over. It certainly worked, but it didn't go very far. I'll reposition the camera. I've got to say, I found that a bit disappointing. I thought it was going to go all the way along the kitchen. Right, that's as far as I can set it. You could do with some sort of release mechanism. about five meters if we're lucky. Right, I've tried using the other gear, but that's come loose in there. That one. So I'll have to get that back together. Now we've got a problem. I'm just using one rubber band, but with the small gear going to the big gear on the axle, that's making this flick back with quite a force, and it's actually jamming into the bigger gear and bringing it to an ultimate stop. I think there's supposed to be something just on there going across to stop that flying all the way back. So I'll have to see if I can find something I can put on there just to stick out a bit and stop that flying right the way across. I've pulled this piece off and clearly that piece there should have something that goes right the way across. Well, we haven't got that, so using some of my Meccano kit, I'm going to put that bolt in place and that's going to stop that flying all the way back. I'll put a nut on that side of it to hold it in place. 
and that should cure it. All right, there we are, a granddad fix. So we've got a nut, and, uh, nut and a bolt there, and that should stop that arm flicking all the way back and digging into that gear. I think that'll even still fit on there. Yeah, just about. So one rubber band, but the the second gear. Spin, but we're only doing a meter. And that wheel spin, if I use both rubber bands. Go back to the other gear. summary time. A little bit disappointed with it. I was hoping it would go much further but it's been interesting to figure out what its problems were, compare the two different gears and get some interesting camera angles. So it cost me about 50 pence and I've had fun with it. So, gold, I guess. Job done. Just a parting thought before I put it away entirely. It would have been nice to have been able to swap that gear with that gear. Right, I've taken the big gear off, put the slightly smaller one on. See how that gets on. See if we can improve the distance. Well, it made a marginal difference. I would guess you could spend all day on this, playing with different gear ratios to see what gives you the absolute best run. Obviously I'm adding a little bit of weight with the weight at the back and the camera at the front so it might go a little bit further without those on there but it's just the general principle playing with the gears to see what gives you the best acceleration, distance and speed. That'll do.